I can't remember. Welcome yes. back after two weeks. It's been a really long time. <laughs> really sorry. sorry. So Sorry for how like grungy and disgusting. Luke actually asked me earlier, he goes, is your hair wet? I was like, no, it's just like breezy. Um. <laughs> <laughs> We've been working so hard on our house, getting moved in. We closed our house. We're officially homeowners. You'll see all these videos and all the stuff in the future where we just haven't had the time to sit down and edit and do everything that comes with it. So we're going to talk about paint. Um, and give yep. you a little rundown of what we chose and how it worked and what we compared it to. So, because we literally painted our entire house. That was probably the, one of the toughest decisions we came across with all this because there's, yeah. if you go online, you read about so many different reviews and different, a lot of them are good, but then you have a few of them in there that are just saying that it's horrible. And right. so, we wanted to give our opinion. So, we start off, we got this paint samples, and we were going to go with the Valspar signature. That was our original choice. We were like, all right, we're going to go with Valspar. We didn't want to spend like a million dollars, but we wanted to spend enough money For to get the, be you know, the better paint. And that way it's done the first time and we don't have to go back in like, you know, four years and repaint everything. So we got the Valspar signature. Samples. And, well, not the signature samples. It was just the Valspar right. uh, samples and then... It, which is the lower grade. And then the Sherwin-Williams samples out of Lowe's, it's the Lowe's Sherwin-Williams. The Lowe's HGTV Sherwin-Williams. So it's, it's they actually don't sell that version in an actual Sherwin-Williams store, it's made specifically for Lowe's. So we called, on a side note, we called Sherwin-Williams store and we're like, hey, what's the difference in your paint versus this Lowe's paint? And they said, basically it's just the same paint, just Almost different, different name. just different name, different version. So, we never actually tried the paint from the actual Sherman Williams store. So we got those, and then when we were painting the samples on, we realized the Sherman Williams felt thicker and a lot, a lot better quality. It was much thicker, like very, like a very significant difference. And each of the paints had primer and paint in them. Disclaimer: the Valspar sample was their lowest end. I think the Sherman Williams sample was maybe the Infinity or the Showcase. Not Infinity. Not the Infinity, but it might have been the Showcase, which is actually the paint we'll get to in the second that we went with. We aren't sure the people at Lowe's weren't 100%. So, to get started, we went and we started on one of the rooms with the Mickey characters, and we will put a picture right now. And so, if you look around, you'll see a lot of Disney characters. And props to the previous homeowners, it was very... She, those are not stickers. She hand-painted every single one of those on there. Now, I believe they're outlined in Sharpie, and they are actually, the paint is raised up a little bit. Um, a lot of use some type of acrylic paint, so yeah. it, it came off the wall. So, if you're if you're watching this previous homeowner, we're really sorry. Uh, we'll paint the room. <laughs> Yeah, we're sorry. It, it looked amazing, though, as you can see. But we don't um, have kids, we don't and have kids. that's not useful for us right now. Yeah. So we painted that room. We started off. We went ahead and we primed the room with kills. Um, yep. Primed it. I don't. I think we did it once. We primed it maybe once, maybe a little bit twice over just one of the walls, over the Mickey portion. And then we thought we did that just in case because the the infinity which was the paint we went with on this room so, so, so to kind of backpedal here there were actually two different types of um or you know levels of the lowe's hgtv sherman williams paint there was the showcase and there was the infinity the the showcase was about around 35 dollars for a can and um the infinity was around 44 dollars for a can if i'm remembering correctly depending on your uh, shiny is probably like the eggshell the or sheen. satin or like, yeah. um, depending on what sheen you got. Sheen, yeah, that's the word for it. <laughs> <laughs> we went with the eggshell. We went with the eggshell. Yeah, we went with the uh, Sherman Williams Infinity. We did it. We wanted to do it right, get it done the first time, and so we primed the walls. We did everything, and then we painted it on, thinking that would be enough. And with it being the bright yellow and the characters, it. The the color didn't really bleed through. It was the characters. He, Mickey, and friends were still just waving right right along yeah. to us. Hi, I'm Mickey. <laughs> so we go back and we put a couple more layers of primer on. They're still there. We did roughly seven to ten at least layers of primer over each character, and uh, it was a headache, but it got taken care of. And now this is what it looks like. So we're going to put couple different things in there. 
you'll see pictures of that later on in a different video. But we just want to talk about the paints. So we, when I was painting it on the first night and rolling it on, it was really thick and it's a great paint. It's the higher end, but I, and we even got the nice rollers. We got the Purdy rollers. So that, you know, apparently that was the highest end rollers you could get. Well, for Lowe's, they said, get that. If you want a Purdy finish, get a Purdy uh, paintbrush or roller or whatnot. So we did that and it left a lot of spots that were, it was splotchy like almost. Yeah. So we went back and for the next rooms, we went and decided for the living room behind us and in our room and which what we went with the rest of the house was the showcase. We tried it out and we liked it a lot better. It was still very thick. I just feel like it covered a lot better. And I actually talked to, and the reason being why we went this, with it and I'm glad we did is because we were looking at getting a five gallon bucket for the room in here. We were painting our room, the living room, and our master and our master bath the same color, the same light gray. So we wanted to, you know, just get bulk. Get a get a bulk deal. And they didn't have the infinity in the five gallon they had the showcase. So we went right. with it and we loved it. It was covered well. We actually primed this wall and our bathroom our, our master. We didn't prime the bathroom. We wanted to do it just to be on the safe side because it was a weird um, green, green color. color. So here's the before of the living room. Um, I'm sorry, I really didn't have a, a picture of without furniture, but that was a picture of what the homeowner's decor looked like. And then here's a picture of what it looks like now. And so we painted it on with it on there, and it... It covered? It covered well, but we didn't want to risk it and get all the way through the, the room. and Didn't have to buy more paint, which is more expensive than primer. So we just did it right the first time. And y'all are gonna see us get real delirious over a couple days because we are here <laughs> hours upon hours staring at the wall, rolling it on. I think taping is the worst. Taping is the worst. Yeah. If you've never painted before, shout out. Taping is the shout worst. Shout out to Being Mommy with Style for helping us. She taped our bathroom, our master bedroom, part of the living room. She came over to help paint. We're she ended up yeah, she ended up time. taping the whole time. Sorry. So bless you and your family. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. But uh if you haven't checked her out, go check her out. She's a really cool channel. Go follow and subscribe. Subscribe to us too. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so we went with Infinity and he actually talked to somebody at Lowe's and they weren't hundred percent sure, so don't take our word on this, but they think that maybe the Infinity is more of like a, a designer type paint. Right, it did more of a designer paint, so it's not meant to be like hefty duty, like cover really, really well. But the showcase, I mean, for the most part covered really well. Now I will say, in my office bedroom, um, it's kind of a tan color and I chose a really, really, really light blue for it. And we tried just painting without priming and because it was a tan prior and it did Good show job. through. Okay. So here it is. So we obviously have not finished painting that room yet. Um, I will give you a before and after on Instagram, go follow us totally wise underscore. Um, I'll give you a before and after on there whenever it's completely done. So we chose, I chose the really light blue and it actually is still showing the tan through a little bit. So I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's the brushes because the brushes are really shows like the best of the best brushes that they had there. Um, We're going to have to prime that. Right. So it's not a huge deal, but it's like I said, it's just adding. So I will layer. say with the showcase paint, with the Lowe's paint, there's a 95% chance, I would say probably, there's a 98% chance you're going to have to, even though it has prime in the paint, you're still going to have to prime even with the paint. So, cause we've had a very wide variety of colors and we've had to prime behind everything. So we had to prime behind green, yellow, mm -hmm. tan. Overall, we, we really liked it. I would say coverage wise, it's on a scale of one to 10, I'd give it. Seven. 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 Seven on coverage. And I will say too, on the, the rollers, the pretty rollers. So I would give them like a, Seven as well. Seven, as, seven well. as well. Because they did leave kind of splotchy mark. We had, which I guess any roller, you're going to have to go back and do touch ups, obviously. But it did leave. And I did some, a like, wide variety of different things. I, I used to roll in a square, an X, and then that was more like an S. I don't know. <laughs> I would roll kind of an X, and then I would paint and fill it in, and fill it in, and then I went with doing kind of a different, almost a 
W kind of rolling it and then I did just kind of rolling back and forth. So there's a wide variety and I still got the same results just about for all of them. Mm -hmm. So, and like I said, we didn't cheap out on the rollers. No, we didn't cheap out. We tried not to cheap out on anything. Um, now there could be professional painters out there watching this that saying, are like, wow, wow, show wow. us the cheapest thing, <laughs> could you? <laughs> that's why you have the problems. But if you go to Lowe's, that's the best thing because we asked them, we said, hey, what should we get? And they said, the purdy's the best. And we asked if them, if you want the purdy walls, get a purdy finish. Get oh, the if purdy, you want a purdy finish, get, get a purdy brush. Get you a purdy brush. And then with the paint, they said infinity. Now I know we're blabbering. So going back to the Lowe's thing, they said that they didn't have the infinity in stock in that one the other lows might have so i called them to see if they possibly had the infinity and when i was talking to her she said she had used the showcase a bunch they didn't have the infinity stock but they had the showcase she had used the showcase a lot had really good luck with it and that's the person who told us about it, it might have been a we designer paint. paint so we went with the showcase we like it uh and overall I'm glad we went with it. overall score i would give it 7.5 yeah. Or an eight. For the whole experience, I would give it like seven and a half, eight. Because it's not, Obviously I'm not, not going to expect it pros. to cover in the very first try. We didn't pay a hundred dollars. Right. Up. Now, if we would have paid a hundred dollars for a can, that dang right. thing would have better have covered the first try. Right. They should have painted itself on the wall and we should have been able to <laughs> sleep the whole time. We didn't want to spend a thousand dollars on paint. Anyways, crumble. You want me on camera? Probably he not. loves being held. Yeah. <laughs> I love me. Okay. Okay. Bye. This is our cat, Crumble. Crumble loves us. She, she loves, loves us so much. She loves cuddles. She loves cuddles. We're lying. She hates cuddles. She won't be held for more than 10 seconds, as you can see. Stay here. Stay. Love us. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Bye. We love you. Good girl. <laughs> she's, she's a strong, independent woman. So the paint, eight and a half experience overall for the rollers. Um, the rooms, will, you know, you'll see each one of them. Check us out on Instagram. Totally Follow our Instagram. And You'll like. get constant updates on our Insta stories about how we're putting our house together. If you want to follow Crumble, Crumble means, here's the link, or in the below. Crumble the cat. Crumble the cat. So we have that. And we will, sorry it's taking so long for us to get yeah, videos up. we're working but on it. But we will have, you'll, it's going to be kind of a jump because we're now uploading this in the future. And we're going to upload a few videos of the past of us painting. And then we did a milkshake challenge. Milkshake shake challenge. Gosh, weeks ago. Uh, but we've been in such a weird transition and so like crazy busy. We literally have not had the time because we have been painting some up. After work, we paint till about, about 11 o'clock, 10, 30, 11. And then we had a 30 minute drive back to our apartment. So, so thanks for bearing with us. Thanks for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this paint review. If you came here just for the paint review, like and subscribe our yeah, page. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe because we're going to be doing tons and tons of projects around the house. We're going to be painting furniture. We're gonna I'll be, be building stuff. I really want to put in a like faux shiplap wall in our kitchen. So it may be total failures. It may be awesome. But I'll let you know, and hopefully we can have some, you know, some DIY videos up so that y'all can if y'all are trying to do these projects, maybe we can. Let us be the guinea pig for right, you. Right, let's be your guinea pig. Let us mess up our house for you <laughs> and show you what not to do or what to do. So thanks for watching. We will see y'all next time. We love y'all. Welcome to all our new subscribers who followed us. Thanks for following us off of Mommy With Style. We hope y'all enjoy our videos and be on the lookout for more. We'll see y'all next time. Toodles.